Uh, hi, I'm Michelle. I work as a paleoecologist in the long-term ecology lab. What I do is I reconstruct long-term ecology and environmental change through fossils from plants and animals. So from this what we can do is get an idea of what the ecology was like in the past and then we can infer what the environment was like at that time. I've always been a scientist, I think. As a child I was just always digging up the back garden trying to find fossils. <laughs> I think Jurassic Park inspired me. <laughs> I'm Jessie, I'm a plant systematist here at Manaki Whenua. What that means is somebody who researches how many species of plants there are and how they're related to each other. I got into science through my love for nature and the outdoors and my mum was really into botany and we used to go for family tramps and she'd walk along and name all the trees for us as we went by and it was only as, I, as an adult that I realised that was something special that not everybody got to do. I'm Fiona Carswell, I'm the Chief Scientist here at Manaki Whenua. That means I'm responsible for the teams, I'm responsible for um, people's career development and for making sure they have a kind of happy home base in which to do their science. I remember as a child really loving trees in particular and, and plants and having a very keen interest in them and so I followed that through with kind of botanical degree, master's degree in an aspect of botany and then I ended up uh, doing a PhD in the UK at Edinburgh. Uh, my name is Olivia Birch, uh, I'm an analytical ecologist. Now what that means is I do still go out and do field work and things but we also deal with a lot of data and a lot of big data. Oh, I always enjoy tramping, getting out into the um, outdoors, when we were kids, uh, we used to get taken up uh, in the Marlborough Sounds and one of the fun parts of our holiday would be um, ring barking pine trees. Hi, I'm Jessica and I am a paleoecologist. I basically try and um, detect the different components that are inside of the fecal samples of this organism. So for example, I'll take the samples to the DNA, the ancient DNA lab, and I'll extract the DNA. Um, I was lucky enough to get to know my microbiology teacher, uh, Dr. Toranzos, and one, th one day he told me, oh, you should volunteer in my lab. And I was like, okay. And he made me wash so many dishes. For like three months, all I would do was wash lab dishes. And then one day he just came to me and was like, okay, so now do you want to do real science? And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I never turned back, I just fell in love. It's amazing, we have a lot of strong, confident uh, females here, as, long as, as well as some great men. Uh, yeah, it's been uh, fantastic, there's huge support here for women in science, and I just love coming in every day. I'm a postdoc. Um, we're prob there's probably more women than men, so <laughs> you don't notice the gender issues um, at my level so much. So we've got a really cool um, history in New Zealand of amazing female botanists and so it's really nice to feel that connection and um, coming to work at a herbarium that people like Lucy Moore have worked at, it's, um, it's really special to know that I've got that historical connection. In some ways I feel like being a female has actually been an asset <laughs> in, in this job but uh, it's it's certainly, we have conceived the chief scientist role in a different way to how it's often used in an organisation and that I have much more hands-on management. It has its ups and downs, of course, like everything. Um, I particularly have found both uh, very positive aspects about it and, of course, you know, it's, it's obstacles related to it. But overall, I would say that um, I've definitely had many doors um, open. There are definitely more women coming up to higher <coughs> ranks in kind of scientific institutions, which is great. And I also wonder if that's partly reflecting what we see as a need for science to be more collaborative. <coughs> so we're seeing a bit of a democratisation of knowledge and a more inclusive way of doing science and we're also seeing that institutions and researchers need to work together a lot more because we're trying to solve bigger problems and I feel like some of those attributes are um, helping you know some of, some of the women it's not that other people aren't collaborative as well 
but um, it, it's allowing women to really excel in the science 